Yo, what's up? It's uh, Trickery, and um, I'm making my first tutorial video right now. Usually, don't make any because I can find um, everything I'm looking for online usually, but this is one thing I just figured out on my own. I'm sure somebody's done it before, but I haven't seen it. So, um, this has to do with um, side chain, creating sidechain MIDI. Um, for like your kick and your snares um, out of audio so like here's my drums for this project we'll just show you the kick and the snare because what's really weird about this project in particular is um Right, so there was four bars. Um, as you can see, some of these kicks, and I think they were weirder too in this part. Um, I did a lot of like off grid stuff because, um, because it's like supposed to be that weird, like wonky halftime style, and so um, my kicks don't always line up with the grid or the notes unless I get down to a really, really fine level. Um. So normally, the way you would create the side chain for this is some other people I was just talking to, they do the same, is you have like, like I have this sampler with like a, a hat and I'd create the MIDI track and uh, write the MIDI notes in manually, which is very painful for these weird offbeat kicks, right? I was having it, so yeah, as you can see, that's part of the frustration is Ableton doing crap like that. But, um, yeah, so like these four kicks right here were really painful um, to go in here with the MIDI and draw and then look at where it is up here and see if it lines up or not vertically. And so, um, there is easy ways to create sidechain uh, if your drums are in a drum rack and they're in MIDI, but I'm not the biggest fan of doing that. Um, I like warping stuff and like audio and then stacking things and seeing like the audio later here like these snares and stuff like rather than working in a drum rack. So what I came up with, if you want to create this sidechain pattern from these kicks, um, you consolidate that one audio thing here and then you can um, can convert the melody to a new MIDI track and we'll get MIDI clip with the pattern that we want yep so this will have the same pattern as the, um, the kicks and so now like the issue is right it's gonna play um, some weird right Um, all these different notes and stuff, and they're going to have like different lengths. Um, and usually you want something tighter, like a white noise hit or a, or a hi hat um, or anything like that, or a click um, to control your sidechain. Uh, I like something that's exactly like 1 16th note in length, and then I'll usually like go from there. But what we're going to do is replace um, this thing with. A white noise click and operator, and this I learned how to do from a uh, frequent video. I ha already have it up here, so show in a second. But it's basically it's um, you do noise looped, and then you do fixed, and this lets you set like the pitch for it. So then it's always the same pitch. So then the important thing with with this is that. Um, Oh, and then we need to shape it, right? And another cool little trick that I learned from Mr. Bill video. Um, we can find out in this track exactly how long the 16th note is here. If I just highlight, look down in the bottom right there, 172 milliseconds. So what we can do here is set like the attack to one millisecond. We'll set the de decay to like 170 
the release to one. So all that together should add up to exactly 172 milliseconds for the duration that this note is playing. Um, so yeah, um, once you have this, now the thing is, is because we fixed the pitch on this, it's always the same note. So I don't have to worry about the fact my camera is slowly tilting back. Sorry. Um, I uh, don't have to worry about the fact that these are playing different notes because uh, that's not going to affect it. Um, and also don't have to worry about their lengths either because either, we just control the length with the envelope there. Yeah, so once I have this MIDI, like, I already have this track up here that has that, uh, that operator I was telling you about. And um, my bass down here is already set up to be sidechained to this MIDI track up here. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, check out solo. Cool. Well, we forgot the snare side chain is missing from that little demo there, but it's cool. You get the idea. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helps. You could clean these notes up and make them all like the same note if it's just driving you nuts, like OCD wise. You know, you just select them like this. And... There we go. We can make them all. I think like C3 is what the other ones are set to, but. I said C4, whatever. Alright, um, yeah, that was it. Um, I hope this helps anybody who prefers to do their drums in audio and is getting tired of drawing the MIDI in. Um, but yeah, thanks. And I'm going to put links to my music and stuff below too in case anyone actually stumbles across this tutorial. But peace.